hands so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure Hey fams, welcome back to All Things Shoshana. So welcome to my spring house tour, you guys, for 2021. This is my foyer, and as you can see, I have added some pops of color. You guys know that I am a neutral person. I love everything white, light, and bright. But this spring, summer season, I just wanted to add some color, some vibrancy, lots of textures, um, you know, just lots of classic touches to my home. And these beautiful dried flowers, I got them from Walmart, you guys. And I love the way that they turned out, the different variations. And these are all different um, dried flowers. They came in separate packaging, but I just placed them all together. And I think that they work so well together. Now, you guys know this beautiful piece that I created um, out of a shower curtain. And I just love it. I really, really do love it. And I'm really thinking that I am going to, you know, do some more art pieces with that because they just turned out so beautifully. And and my good friend Tam, I call her Tam, but Tamara Wilson from Love My Babies Forever. You guys know her. I talk about her all the time. Um, I will link her channel down below. But she she did um, a shower curtain video. Uh, today as a matter of fact and um, it's released on her channel and I will have that link down below but she made such a good point as to creating um, the different art pieces with the shower curtains for different seasons I thought that was pretty cool so that's something that I'm definitely going to be um, mimicking as well so this piece y'all know I've had this piece for many years it was gold it was white it was yellow and now it is like that taupey gray I just think it's so warm and it goes with the color tones that I have in my home so as you may see I am going for that blush pink and coral with touches of green I just wanted my home to feel sort of like a classic English garden and I just love the way that it looks I love the way that it feels and I love the way that everything turned out so this is my family room and you guys know I am a sucker for white curtains, right? Because it's so light, it's so bright. But I wanted to add some patterns in my um, space. And this is very, very adventurous and very different for me. I used a lot of bold prints and color and, you know, different textures in my um, family room. And y'all, I got to really say, I am enjoying it so much. It's very traditional, very classic English cottage style feel. And it just, I don't know, it's so cozy to me. It's very cozy, very warm. And I just love to curl up on my sectional and watch a good Hallmark movie for the spring and the summer and just just really enjoy it with the sun shining in through the window and all the vibrant and rich colors. Y'all let me know what you guys think about my spring tour so far. What do you think about the colors that I've used and all the different patterns? I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to So I know that I'm probably gonna get asked about this, this curtain I got this curtain from um, Amazon and I just love it so much. I love all the colors. I love all the bold prints. It's just, it just makes my space. I feel like it adds like a touch of coziness. Now y'all, I did this thing on my wall. I added this board and batten feature on my wall. I've been wanting to do it for 
a very long time and I went ahead and bite the bullet and got it done and it was sort of like a last minute thing but I'm so happy that I got it done because it just adds like that touch of elegance and sophistication to my living room though it's more of a classic detail it just seems very casual and cozy to me and yes, I painted my fireplace. You guys may have seen this already um, in my collab video with Stephanie from Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie. I painted my fireplace this agreeable gray, I believe. No, aged gray. I'm sorry. Um, from Rustoleum. And I just love the way that it turned out and how all the gold and, you know, the metals, it just pops against that color. So these little vignettes that I created, I just wanted simple sophistication, but at the same tone, I really wanted it to represent spring and summer. A lot of my pieces that I have in my home, they are thrifted. I love thrifting, you guys. You guys know that about me by now. Um, if you're new here, I absolutely love thrifting. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can see my new thrifting videos that will be coming up for the summer season. Um, I just love this striped um, art piece. Now I created this, you guys may know, if you've been with me for a while, I did an artwork and it was, um, I wrote on it when I used to do farmhouse decor, I wrote on it, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I actually covered it up with the fabric, the striped fabric, um, and I placed it over my sectional. And I just think that with just that piece, it really just fills that space and draws the attention to the detailing in the fabric, all the colors, all the vibrancy and the texture. And then adding that floral centerpiece, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm in love. I'm totally in love. So now we are here in my dining room. And in my dining room, I wanted it to have that um, English garden feel. And so I wanted to add some touches of glam because you guys know I do love glam, but I'm more of a classic glam person. Um, and I wanted to just add some touches of gold and crystals so I went ahead and I um, painted my dresser blue and my mirror I spray painted it gold and I just love the way that it turned out and on my table I just wanted to do like an English garden type of centerpiece and tablescape so I hope that you guys are loving what you see so far and definitely go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys are thinking if you are liking the new direction that I'm going um, with for my channel and for my videos definitely let me know because I want to put out content that you guys enjoy but I also want to do things that I love as well um, so if you are new here, hi, how are you? My name is Shoshana. Welcome to my little neck of the woods. Um, I create lots of lifestyle content, home decor, DIYs, cleaning motivation, and so much more. I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and double tapping that bell so you don't miss any episodes and you receive all the notifications. Also, let me know your name down below. Um, let me know where you're watching from and comment what is your favorite room in my home so far. Thank you guys so much for your support. Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know it is just my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip.
skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistake. I just wanna feel alive. So now we are in my kitchen and I didn't do a lot in my kitchen um, for spring because we are in here all the time and I am constantly using my kitchen, um, especially because my kids are home, they're doing remote learning, um, fully remote learning, and I'm constantly making meals at least several times for the day. So I didn't want to overcrowd it with too much decor. I just wanted it to be very practical, very simple, but still add some touches of spring, um, you know. In the kitchen so this is what my kitchen is looking like um, and it's definitely going to be changing very soon we're doing some renovations and the kitchen is on the list this year for some changes the backsplash is getting updated the countertop is getting updated the cabinets are getting updated um, just some really simple touches um, and some really simple updates and so I am so excited and I absolutely cannot wait for that to take place it's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. So now we are upstairs and this is a little area that I just recently decorated. Um, I have not shown this area ever um, because it's still a work in progress. And so I just love this little table that I got from Amazon. It's an Ashley furniture um, piece and I just love Ashley's furniture. So now we are in my son's bedroom and his room just under, you know, gone a whole different makeover there's still a few little things that need to be done but for the most part it is complete um, I did order his rug and it did not come in time for the house tour but definitely once the rug comes um, and the other things that I ordered I will definitely go ahead and give you guys an update but this is what his room is looking like and he just loves it so much it is so him like he loved the arrows he loves the color everything that's in here he wanted he asked for um, and we went ahead and definitely made sure that he got it because he is such a good kid and you know he's really good in school and just very helpful in the house and I'm just he's just such an amazing kid so we just wanted to make sure that his room reflected his personality and you know the things that he loves <laughs> I wanna drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else and so now we are in my master bedroom and I did not do a lot in my master bedroom, which is probably surprising to many, but I didn't do a lot um, in my bedroom. I added um, some new bedding and just like a touch of floral for, you know, the spring. I have my little chair in the corner, but that was it. I really didn't do much. I didn't want to go overboard because we're getting ready to revamp this room we're getting ready to add some new flooring and um, build out a master closet so I didn't want to do too much and I love it I love it it's very cozy my husband at first was kind of like why do we have a pink blanket <laughs> but he loves it so much and um, we're just enjoying the space and I love the way that it turned out with all the corals and the pinks 
absolutely just loving it and this is my baby girl's bedroom I did not show Nyla's bedroom on this tour because she was in her room and she was you know she was just not dressed appropriately so I didn't show um, her room in this tour but I definitely will let you guys see what her room looks like um, you know probably after spring break once she goes back to school but this is Michaela's bedroom and we added her that bookshelf I actually had this hutch down in my dining room and she loved it so we gave it to her and she's definitely utilizing it a whole lot better and she just loves her space we got her a new bed and her room is a lot more big girl now so she is just loving it so thank you guys so much for watching uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet done so also double tap that bell for new notifications and introduce yourself to me in the comment section don't forget to let me know what you guys think of my spring home tour thank you guys so much for watching i will see you very soon